back to another episode of Morocco. Ooh, so guys, we are here in our Empire of Grandness where I'm I'm starting to really like how our empire looks now. Like, look at this. You know, once we clear out these little local tribes over here and local uh, uh, governments, we'll look. A, we'll have a pretty nice border. I mean, this is gonna look pretty nice. I mean, we will. I don't know. I love it once we have a good border. So, anyways. I've been just looking around the map, making sure that all of our diplomatic relationships are pretty good, and I would say the vast majority of Europe really does like me. I mean, they all just hate me right now because we're, a we're actually infidels, but for the vast majority of them, they definitely don't hate me, which is what I like. Um, apparently Wales is free right now, which is weird, so let's get back into the game. Let's press play. 2031! Yay, everyone, it's 1700! Everyone, what happened in 1700? Well, I actually can't think of anything really insanely important that happened in 1700 besides it being 1700. So, I guess the insignificance is it's 1700! Oh, that was, yeah. Good, yay! So, yeah, we're also building, we should be, we should be building massive amounts of fleets because that's what we do in our free time. Because we are still not capped out on our naval limit, which is insanely, insanely bad. So, let's see. How much... No, no, I didn't mean army. There we go. Navies. How many more heavy ships do we need to do for us to be the biggest in, in the world? Well, right now we have the biggest... We have the biggest uh, navy by a lot. I mean, no one even comes close. Not even the Russians who, who are technically like my main rivals in this game because they are the other biggest like land power like in terms of land power they're the other biggest one and they're really close to ours even though we have a better force them than they do they're still a big they're still our big baddies so we still have to worry about them but anyways for heavy ships we technically have the biggest heavy ships but i want to make sure once we get our new our next upgrade in terms of heavy ships which will be in like i think a couple let, let me keep this going because we can talk while we're doing this the next heavy ship upgrade will be the tour looker Ooh. Pilgrims, prestige, or oh, oh, dang it, <laughs> I have to lose piety. Yay, we got another self-sustaining colony. Does that mean we get our colonists back? No, we still don't get colonists back. Dang it. All right, once we get our colonists back, I'm gonna go send all the people down here to go finish up these last two colonies, and then people, we can finally consider we're done with colonizing. Oh gosh, this took a long, long time. And then from there, maybe we can start doing some other stuff, like maybe doing some stuff like this. In fact, if this gets a lot, if this gets to so many, like, stuff, I might just go completely pious for, like, a couple months. Because this this could definitely get annoying if I don't manage it well. Alright, we're slowly getting all of our cores. Let me also make these cores, so I make sure I can start these. Uh, lose stability or lose my prestige? I think, I think the obvious answer is lose my prestige, at least I think so. You, oh gosh, we still have to do that. So apparently, we also have a mission right now to to annul something. We also have a missionary strength of something. Let's enact, let's enact that because missionary strength is always cool. Plus it always helps me out and this is actually within our range to actually be able to get. That is awesome. Alright, let's try this. Let's try to start converting that at a decent rate. Um, man, this is also, this is also somewhere on our range of stuff to do but it's not insanely important to do. But, yeah, anyways, what was I about to do? I just forgot. Oh, yeah, I have to check out all the people that are embargoing my, me right now. Castile, are you really embargoing me right now? I mean, is that really such a smart idea, considering I am, like... Let's see. Let's, let's go to technologically advanced mode. Yeah! 23, 23, we even. But we're not even, because I have a much bigger force than you. So is that really a smart idea? I don't know, they, they some, sometimes the AI just do stupid things, they like think, yeah, I'm totally gonna be, I have three leaders, oh yeah, because two of my leads, it's only one leader really, because two of my leaders are actually just people, alright, let's get down to this, because I keep distracting myself and I don't want to forget, get down to here, let's get down to navies, alright, I'm gonna build some more heavy ships, one, two, three, four, yeah, we're just gonna build an entirely new heavy ship market, so eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I don't want to build like 
58 more advanced ships because that'd be just way too many I think so but also build more more of these guys we can build a small little fleet we don't have to build a gigantic one there we go all right and continue on with our daily lives as 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 Moroccoians with our empire expanding from here to there to everywhere hey yes we could totally get that all right and my diplomat is heading back after his successful successful may I add and I mean I really do mean successful mission to go to Kilawa and while we're gonna be down there we're gonna go destroy a couple things in the Kilawa region because as we know from future from doing this before do not repeat do not free a vassal and then go conquer them because that does not work it does not work out for you very well but what we're going to do is we're gonna take Damascus as one of our vassals while we still have an opportunity and while still no one else has really you know, wait, no. Yes. Okay, what do I need to do? Ooh, it has to be proclaim guarantee. Okay, I could probably get this if I used economics. Right, send a gift. Yeah, just, I have a bunch of money. You, you guys are pretty greedy people, but I have a lot of money right now. So, just get us up to 90, and then next turn, what we're going to do is have him as our vassal. And then we're going to be fine for a little bit. I mean, after that, no, after that, we're going to go to Clare War and Kill War. And I'm going to stop improving relationships with Stockholm. I I'm tired of improving relationships with Stockholm. Like, we need to start getting- we need to have more diplomats. That's definitely something we need to have. We need to have more diplomats. That sounds really, really kind of interesting considering I don't usually have many diplomats. Get them as our vassal. There we go. Right now, we should be actually going negative just a little bit in terms of prestige. That's fine. It's not too big of an issue. And now that we're ready, go send our soldiers over here. You guys, Kilwa, it's good to have you guys as friends, but eh, I kind of like you guys being my own subservient. Uh, being underneath me is much better, I believe. Uh, and apparently integration! And it's actually, that worked out perfectly. I integrated Nedjed at the exact same time. Wow, that, that was just a perfect march. Alright, do we have enough force limit to support these guys? Yes, we do. In fact, we have an insanely big force limit. Alright, um, right now we have like an entirely new army to add though into our, into our fleet. So I'm gonna go put these guys over here, start grouping them all up, and I'll put them as the Najed army. Or oh, not the Najed. Actually, yeah, the Najed army. And now that we have this land, look at this. So much Shiite! So much Shiite, I can't even imagine. Yeah, just, just try to start converting some of this, because, oh my goodness, there's so much Shiite. Alright, and this army is actually a well-composed army for being just, you know, people. That's pretty good. We could just go move that to... Yeah, we could just keep these guys right here. We could probably use that to start building up a new army. And let's just go have all these guys group up into their own little stuff. So I want to make sure this this force does not die, especially when I'm around. I want to make sure this force does not die. And now that we have a new mission that we can select, centralize and fortify army tradition or colonize or colonize conquer I usually like conquer missions but where is sulfur so let's see so yeah so hard is so hard one of these places oh it is all right let's see how is how is Oman looking like in terms of alliances right now just allied with Ethiopia hmm not exactly a strong alliance, if I would say. And so, what we could do, since I can always see they have only 18 men, I'm going to go bring my soldiers down from, from down there to over here. And we're going to prepare for a two prolonged front. So what we're going to do is basically have these guys attack Kilwa, take Bakura, or take Ba. No one wants to join in my war, who cares? I don't really care about you guys. Uh, take this mission, get the claim, you guys go right here, I don't believe I should have any trouble with these, oh, they actually have an army, well, they still tribal tech, yeah, then that the doesn't really matter, the, the more they, the more they, the more they try to act like people, the more I kind of laugh, and I know it's really mean for me to say that, especially, especially, like, given circumstances, they, they're trying their best, but, I mean, they really can't do anything, alright, we're also going to fabricate a uh, claim onto here. I don't really care, just fabricate a claim. 
All right, that way when we go to war, once that claim finishes, then we'll go to war against Oman, and that way we have an instant core to start taking more land from over here. Uh, Devado is trying to be a jerk right now, of course. Doesn't really matter to me. If, if they really do siege down that land, that's not insanely important, if I must be honest with you. Uh, but we can increase increase all of our two forts, because I really do like two forts. We could actually even start doing three forts, which is, like, weird to me. Like, who could ever think that we could actually start doing three forts? Like, that's so weird. I mean, we'll just start it in the original Morocco Wean land, and we'll slowly start We'll slowly start branching out from there to go get other lands. Alright, I don't want to spend all my militaristic points. Okay. And yeah, let's just watch the slow siege of everything go on. And we have both armies moving down at a pretty, pretty good rate. So we should be able to finish this in about a couple weeks. I mean, we could probably finish this even better if I actually went down and went to go hunt the armies down. Because we aren't in Victoria 2 anymore. So that means armies actually, like, siege better when they're not with themselves. So actually, I should probably start. I should probably think of that just a little bit. This is, I'm right now. Sorry, guys. I'm right now in Victoria 2 mode, where I'm like thinking, all right, all right, all right. You see, armies siege down better when they're together. Nope, not in this game. Armies armies siege down much better when they're when they're farther apart. Okay, you guys are my vassal, right? When can I annex you? I think it should be really soon, right? Yes, it is actually now. So. I want you guys to be my little buddies and start integrating into me. Okay. Is there anyone that I can kind of look at to see if there's any cores I can take? Hmm. Kushan I know does have a lot of cores over here, but I don't believe I can steal any from them. I don't think wait, I, I don't think they're gonna accept like annexation, no they will not. Uh I was Sid. I don't think they can accept vassal vassalization either, yeah. I have to get closer to their borders. That's basically my main problem, is that they're not it's not like they wouldn't accept, it's just I have to get closer to them. All these nations need to need to have a certain amount of proximity to them. How did you get past me? How did that army get past me? Oh no matter, I killed them anyways. Alright, just yeah, just, just blow up blow up their army. Go destroy whatever they have. Okay. You guys spread out a little bit. So I want to make sure that we do these sieges kind of quickly. Because since most of the army is over there, I don't really have to worry about... I don't really have to worry about, like, any armies from over there coming up and destroying me. Because that'd be really bad. Brigadiers and pilgrims! Oh, great, I don't... I actually have enough prestige right now to do some more. To keep delaying it. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not becoming pious for a little bit. Like, when I want to become pious, will be the day, I guess... Voodoo is born? I don't know. I don't know a good in a, a good simile for that. Alright, you guys move up forward. Hmm. It's getting pretty dangerous now. It's getting pretty dangerous up there. How did you... How are you able to... That's such a cheap... My army should be able to catch them. Like, seriously. Have a good day! Yay! Quality ivory! Good job, Africa! Yay! Alright. Now... Apparently, we do have some Ethiopian despotism. I don't really care. I'll go have an army go hunt them down. Oh, and with Oman, I'm definitely going to take this land right here. This is the land I'm not forgetting about taking because, honestly, we need this land because we need to connect our empires. Our empire is basically has expanded almost all the way around the world. In fact, I don't really even use this. We don't even use really this land for fighting anymore. It's just kind of there. Alright. And while we're here, I'll start grouping up all my... Is that still heavy? This is... Okay, right there. That's where the divide is. So let's start making our new attack fleet. Which I guess I'll make our new attack fleet be on this side of the Indian Ocean. This side of the oceans. Because I already have another attack fleet on the other side. So it doesn't make much sense to have two attack fleets. Alright. Combine all these guys. Get all you guys, combine all you guys. Get all you guys, combine all you guys. Alright, and then get all you guys. Oop, get all you guys, and combine you guys. Yeah, there we go. So that should go good there. And apparently there's some kind of battle going where they're fighting two of my men and they are getting slaughtered. This is kind of sad. I'm just gonna go help the siege. 
I mean, I mean, they, they don't really need my help, but this makes me feel better when I know that they're not gonna win at all. All right, do I do I still not have a colonist yet? Where are all my colonists? Sheesh. I mean, seriously. All right, we just got a core on Ethiopia. All right. Um, I'm kind of getting annoyed by that army. I don't I don't know why. It usually doesn't bug me when my rebels spawn, but it is bugging me right now. Okay, and while we're here, since we have another free diplomat, let's see. Persia now officially hates us, so I don't even mind them really that much. Oh, uh, we still can't. The moment I can actually fabricate cords on Sid, I will so fabricate cords on Sid. But I can't do that yet. Let's just, for the time being, just keep fabricating cores on Ethiopia. I know they're gonna hate us so hardcore, but we're just gonna keep fabricating cores on them. So that we get a slightly reduction to... Slightly reduced... Okay, you guys can't actually see, so go back. You guys go right here. Alright. You guys are done, go right there. You guys are almost done. Finish up the last siege right there. And there we go. Yeah, all the sieges are starting to go together. With three men! If, if I win with three men, I'll be kind of... I'll be kind of happy, but I don't think I'm going to be able to win with three men. Probably, yeah, it seems like they might actually win that. Oh! Spoke too soon. <laughs> Alright. Go right here. And that soldiers are going to be a little bit messed up for a little bit. Let me go crush these guys. More colony self-sustaining. Still don't know. Finally, I got one of my colonies back. Alright, alright. We'll start sending these guys right here. And let's see. Oh, did I not get you guys? Hmm. This one, I got all of you. Hmm. That's weird. I could have sworn I just did this like a couple seconds ago. Okay. You guys go right in there. You guys go right in there. Alright. And. Now we're gonna start colonizing this. Slave uprising! Oh no! Why? Why does our country even have slaves? I mean, I'm not concerned about the uprising because I know I'll crush it, but why does our country even have slaves? Okay. Okay, so if I like select both armies, send about that much and about that much, that should be able to crush whatever they have right there. There we go. Yeah. That should be able to crush everything. There's nothing else they have in this world. Okay. And we're just going to slowly group up everything. Go right here. Yeah, those Nongo. Oh yeah, Nongo. That's the place that's really annoying. Alright. Seems like I probably am going to have to go... And start fighting some things. Okay, you guys. Are you guys on the colony? No. You guys are on a fully fledged army. You guys go all the way down here. Actually, we could probably just group these guys up. Let's see, where's the next colony? Okay, you guys really do think you guys are gonna actually cause me trouble. I'm just kind of. Okay, you guys. You guys are almost about ready to be conquered. Alright, one more place. You guys are. Are you guys really trying to get your army back together? Gosh, wow. This was almost an entire episode. I mean, seriously, you guys should just give up. I mean, this was almost just one episode. Just one episode of me of me fighting. Alright. That's pretty bad on your guys' part. But I am getting kind of annoyed by all these rebels popping up in this land, so. Hmm. <laughs> you guys, go back up and go crush them. Wait, wait. Let me go group this last little army up. Yeah, I know. I know. I know they're gonna they're gonna really start gaining all those all those bonuses, so I better start crushing them. Yeah, you guys go back up and go crush these guys. Like seriously, now they're starting to really just annoy me. All right, and then go right there, and go right there. All right, never mind. Just keep going. National uprising. Yet. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like this revolt's gonna start happening a lot more. Well, 
<sighs> Anyways, people, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been a good episode. I'll see you guys next time.